Iron Leaf Motion fans. Um, I'm looking for some input on a new project I'm working on, which should allow the allow you to control your mouse and mouse interaction on Windows 8. Um, if, like me, you've used the touchless application available on the Airspace Store, uh, you've probably found it to be unusable for anything um, other than just having a play. Um, for me, the issue is using a touch screen that you can't actually see is possibly the wrong approach. Um, trying to click on a screen you can't see results in clicks in the wrong places and why they released it with that as the main interface method is beyond me but uh, I've been working on a, a Windows app that can uh, interface obviously with the device um, and now I'm just looking for ideas on why you think touchless doesn't work well and how you think perhaps it should work. Um, my initial ideas are things like, you know, dropping fingers in and out for clicks rather than this kind of, am I in the zone, am I not in the zone? Having your finger move straight into the screen, it's just not ideal at all. Um, what I will show you is what I've come up with so far, which is no more than just tracking fingers, hands, um, and pulling out usable values uh, using the Leap Motion SDK. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think is wrong with Touchless uh, and how you would make it better. And um, I'll try my best to incorporate that into my new app. Um, until then, here's what I've got so far. Right, so here's what I have so far. Uh, as you can see, the visualizer um, running in the background there. I'm just going to go ahead and run my control application. I've set it up so far to scroll the mouse with five fingers visible. Uh, so, as you can see, the mouse, mouse moves around very fluidly. Um, one thing I have been experimenting with is removing a single finger to simulate a click, like so. Beyond that, um, there's not really much it does, but the single finger idea was there to reduce the change in X and Y when actually making a click as pointing into the screen or even tapping on the air changes your scroller's current position. Um, but as I said, if you do have any ideas on other kinds of sort of micro gestures maybe or um, another idea I had was to pan and scroll using two hands um, rather than the touch screen type gestures which as you can see the leap has trouble keeping up with and, and even as you go to close two fingers together um, the sensor has trouble identifying that so um, yeah just leave some comments in the um, section below and um, I will definitely get back to you.